I am back, you bitches. Yeah, it's Malaka time, you sons of bitches. Yeah. So, I'm going to say a couple things before we get to the match. Praise Bad C. Kevin for giving me this replay, only because I wanted to do, for my first replay back, someone at least that I trust into a halfway decent replay, which is Bad C. Kevin. Now, Matthias will be watching us and be like, but Rommel, I sent you. Oh, oh, I said Rommel. Oh, no. Rommel, well, yeah, everyone still calls me that shit. Um... I sent you a whole bunch of replays. Yeah, but you knew I was fucking away. So, if you guys didn't know, if you didn't watch or listen to anything, I was away for three months, but I did schedule three videos each week because, you know, there's only so many videos I can make in about two and a half weeks or so. And, you know, uh, watch, you know, record all the replays. So that's why some of the replays were not that great. Well, even then, some of the replays on my channel aren't that great. But then again, you have retards and stuff like that, and fuck them. Fuck the pro scene and all the pros that don't care about that shit. I only care about the retards because they're retards and they need all the help they can get. You need to take them to the zoo because I heard retards like the zoo. Actually, if you want to know where I've been, I've been in France. Yes, France. And it's... Oh, God. There's one thing that I don't like about the French. And that is they don't know anything about personal space. And this is fucking retarded. In co come on. Come on. Come on, he has, like, no HP left. He has no HP left. Wow. And he... F oh, God, he failed so bad. Ah, <laughs> why accuracy? But that's where I've been. And also, the reason I haven't posted in a week is mainly because of, um... Uh, what is it? Um... Uh, I'm trying to think, but everything's going on. I'm trying to think, and my, my, my hamster-sized brain can't wrap around it. Ah, it's because I was sick. Yeah, I got the cold or some, some shit like that. Felt like crap, and I didn't bother to record for the week because I'd be sniffing and, you know, all that other kind of stuff. But, yeah. So, of course, we have Bad C. Kevin here. Praise Bad C. Kevin. And he has a Gaylord Shogun Cho ally here playing the Ruskies. Of course, we have two OKW tryhards on Walking in the Gay because, you know, why else? Also, side note, I haven't recorded an actual replay in about three months, so I'm pretty rusty on what has changed or anything else like that, but we'll assume things are still the same. We have X-Metal here, and, you know, this is Boca, but then it, for some reason, this name reminded me of Bionicles. If you ever been a kid and you know what Bionicles are, you're dope because Bionicles are the shit. At least back in the day. Now it's all fucking weird. So bad C. Kevin going for the three infantry sections and an MG. Was covering the middle, but of course you have glorious Kubel. Uh, double Kubel here. Uh, just kind of capping up stuff and being homosexual. MG getting nicely positioned. It still has, technically has heavy cover somehow, magically, but okay. It always works out for the best. Also, my volume is too loud, so we're going to see if... Uh, yeah, if it's too loud for me or if it's too loud for the game, we'll never know until I'm in post-editing. So, yeah, I don't give a fuck. <clears throat> so, of course, Glorious Clown Car. The Russian guy lost his side to OKW. I was about to say two Sturm Pioneers. Yeah, he's going to go around back. Very smart. Uh, Penal's pretty much wasted. You're going to waste your manpower just sitting there. Yeah, you might as well just retreat. Yeah, there's no point in that. But he did lose, but he is building a fuel cache for some compensation because of his penis size, so it is okay. And all of that. So anyways, my trip to France was pretty good. I went to go see my girlfriend, if you're wondering. And yes, that is very ironic that I don't like the French, but yet I have a French girlfriend. It, it truly doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, but at least she doesn't eat snails. And I don't know. What, and also, she's not an arrogant prick. Oh, yeah. The one thing I don't like about the French... What did I, did I say? Yeah, they don't give you any personal space. Like, I'd be fucking walking down the street. And the sidewalk could be pretty big or pretty small. Pretty small is okay, but... It would be pretty big, and they'll just want... Walk, to be like an inch away from rubbing up against my shoulder. Like, it's personal space, nigga. Personal space. God damn. Just god damn. I just had a, uh... I was just talking to a new friend of mine, he's from Portugal, and I told him that I went to France, and he said that all the Portuguese don't like uh, French because they're arrogant pricks, and then I told my girlfriend about it, and she said all the French don't like the Portuguese is because they can't do a good job. <laughs> I just had the greatest laugh ever because I thought it was the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> 
Uh, so, of course, this guy went two balls deep here. Uh, we do see a medical HQ coming out. All that gay stuff. Uh, so he did go way too balls deep. He did want to go... We, we could we could give him props for at least trying. And he... Oh, my God. You... Look, he... <sighs> so close to, to just decapping. He tried, but it was not that great of an idea. But it did give him a chance, though, to hopefully cap up here and maneuver in and stick his penis where it does belong. So he did go for glorious M4C Sherman. You know, Batsy Kevin... You should go for the... Too bad you're not, like, M4C Kevin, so you can just always go M4C Shermans. But, yeah. But he's going that glorious Dr. J. Call off the Dushka or whatever the fuck it is. Bad C Kevin here is rocking the three infantry section, as I said, and the one Royal Engineers. Uh, not sure what this doctor name is. Yeah. Mobile Assault Regiment. But I like this doctrine. This doctrine's good. I think they nerfed the land mattress or something like that. I think the CP, they bumped it up or whatever. Uh, but, again, flamethrower is good. Advanced cover is pretty good. Infiltration commandos are all right. But the land mattress is definitely going to be the way to go. Mainly because you have a lot of OKW. Shvia is being placed out to hold down territory. You're going to need that good already. Now, of course, the Russian guy could go... Um, the Russian guy could go Katushas, but you can't really rely on them because you have to think a lot that your enemy is... Your ally is retarded, also your enemy. Also, Batsy Kevin just got completely raped by a support gun. I uh, got seven kills or something? I don't know. But yeah, Batsy Kevin is going to get raped because he clumped up all of his troops and it just... That RNG... Yeah. Though Batsy Kevin did do some, at least from his description, some pretty good microing and... Um, and, of course, some huge fails, so it is all okay. I love Batsy Kevin. Uh, oh, yeah, why was I saying about Matthias? I don't know if I said it. Oh, man. Yeah, also, my memory lapse is still here about me forgetting stuff that I've said. But, yeah, Matthias' replay. Um, he sent me a whole bunch of replays. He knew I was in fucking France. But they, a couple of viewers, of course, with their updates, I couldn't view any of Matthias' glorious replays. So there you go. So much gay. So much gay. So we do see an armored car coming out. He's probably expecting a looks of some kind. I'm not sure if he saw the mech HQ. Maybe a looks or Puma. I'm I'm unsure. But we do have the medical HQ over here. So he knows at least one of them has the medical HQ. At least it's good that both of them kind of uh, got both and both. So you at least get the best of both worlds. At least you get some medical supply. Secure your stage 5 cancer and other stuff like that. Glorious demo charge. And yeah. Oh yeah, that was him. Yeah, the engineer's over here. Capping up. Of course, the middle... Nice mine plant. And we do have some support guns. I can already see this is going to be kind of gay. I mean, this guy needs to retake his flank. He doesn't want to, um... He really needs not to... No one, you know, everyone funnels here. Everyone funnels here, but ignores everything over here. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen in this game. I'm kind of tired of that crap. Are these guys really going to walk into the mine? Yeah, they did. GG. So Armored Car here did get Panzerfaust. I'm not sure what Betsy Kevin was thinking. I don't fucking know. I wasn't looking over around here because it's classic Rommel and all that stuff. Of course, standing out in the middle of nowhere, going to throw a grenade. That's not going to do much. But then, of course, he's probably going to stand in it. And yeah, I stood in it for quite a bit. Didn't lose a guy, though, but lost a whole bunch of HP. Of course, MG34 going to be in the building. And we do have some Royal Engineers with flamethrowers and stuff. Which should be able to take out these guys easily. Of course, with these two other fucking guys blowing them away. Please fucking kill it. Yeah, they killed that. And they uh, destroyed the building with the after charge, which is very nice indeed. Very, very nice. Of course. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. That was dirty. Oh, man. Those gay support guns, though. Dude, what kind of bullets does this fag have? I'm gonna pull. Oh, he's got the fucking. Oh, they recharge 25% faster. Oh, no, it's just. Oh, it's X Metal. Yeah. Yeah, reloads 4% faster. Okay, so you got a faster firing rate. Ish. Damn, that accuracy, though. But did he take the MG? Oh, he did take the MG. Smart. Smart. He's gonna need that MG later. Royal Engineers in cover. Did he call off some commandos here? Not sure where they. Oh, he called them off over here. Then how did they get raped? I don't know. See the demo charge explosion. Not sure what was killed there, but yeah. So we do see a Negro Puma trying to steal our lives. 
all that stuff. We do have the armored car back up in this bitch. So right now, if I was Batsy, Kevin, I'd probably be trying to go for a centaur. A mortar pit actually wouldn't be too bad, too, right here for a lot of indirect fire. Um, I'm not sure which way to go. Maybe he could avoid the mortar pit and kind of work towards the land mattress, and the land mattress could be that thing. But he should be going for a centaur or something of that sort. Uh, maybe. Yeah, it's okay. Pretty good, nice frontal shot. Do have a dishko over here it's going to be setting up. Ah, so it was a supply, allied supply drop. I was doing an allied supply drop. Still don't understand why the allied supply drop has to come here and then you have all these AA guns. Like, it's the ultimate fuck you. You know. So, Shavia coming down? I don't know. He doesn't have enough fuel. Could be going for mech where he just bought the truck and was going to drive it around, take it around the field. So, Poopa going balls deep. Uh, the armored car. Oh, come on, armored car. Go, go. Go, go. Oh! If only, if only the woodpecker size. <sighs> that sucks, Dick. Oh, that one HP. So sad. Good old RNG. Yep. 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 It's quite bullshit. Yeah, those support guns are really going to hurt Bats and Kevin right now. Especially with his infantry also standing out in the open. So that usually doesn't help any. Um, but he's definitely going to need that land mattress. Um, I like how he did try to throw a grenade to hopefully cause an instant retreat, not a follow, but yeah, but no damage was uh, occurred there. But uh, he's definitely going to need the land mattress to take out the support guns and create some breathing space. So all this stuff is going to retreat, going to repair that. Ashvia is coming up here in the middle to protect, of course, the middle here and also the connecting point. Uh, what is this Russian guy up to? So, he doesn't have much. He just has two Peels and Engineers getting some, uh, 76s. Yeah. As Matthias said, he sent me a replay that he said he did really good with 76s. And overall, 76s pretty much are shit. But if, you, if you're really good at RNG, they could be pretty good. They could be pretty good. So, I see Oblis Adatsen coming out here. Um, meh. He has no fuel. He needs to save up that fuel, though. Uh, yeah, good old Company of Heroes. Nothing changes with the homosexuality that is Company of Heroes. Engineers out in the middle of nowhere, calling down some more fuel. 76. Coming at you. Now, I would say that he should wait for the Sherman, but by the time you wait for the Sherman and get the 10 CP, you're pretty much either probably lost or in a really bad state. Trying to run them over, but it magically isn't working. Oh, 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 oh. He almost has it. Just almost. And it just sucks. Wah, wah. Batsy Kevin capping up that middle point. Always good. Enemy causing trouble. Trying to take one of our points. Dude, those support guns are fucking him over good. He's using advanced cover combat. But he's just going to be completely massacred by not only double support gun, Puma, Volks with the SDGs and the machine gun. Yeah, and the Puma. it's just not going to work out. Not much he could have done even with advanced cover or whatever the fuck it's called. So he's getting his company command post up. All that anal sex. All that good stuff. Damn, these support guns, though. The homosexuality is true. So 76 just pushing up here. Betsy Kevin going to try and come and support. Double Pino's coming in as well. Yeah, man. So much homosexuality. Nice mind placement here as well. Oh, my God. He went Yag Tiger. God, that match with that guy with all the yag time. Jesus Christ. Still one of the greatest matches ever because it's pure fucking retardation. Pure retardation. Uh, that Puma chase, though. That Puma range, too. And we do have a, a Viketon. Coming up over here. He won't be able to get a shot off, though, because 76 is retreating. Volk's going to push up here a little bit close to this. Um, what, what is Batsy Kevin? What is, so Batsy Kevin only pretty much has nothing. There's not much he can do at the moment. Um, tank could be the only thing to do, though. He's going to get Panzerfaust. The Centaur could help, but then they already have a Puma, which could be a problem. But also the Puma could signal something else, too. You know, that it's becoming, you know, 13 minutes in. They probably could get a Panzer IV, and then he kind of fucked. So you have to be careful. Okay, Dushka placement. 
Oh, okay, yeah, he had his flight covered with the penals. So again, Puma's pushing up mid, destroying some of this cover. Yeah, Betsy Kevin either has to get some kind of tank, and his penal's just pretty much getting wiped out here by the Puma. He needs to get a tank, or he's going to get the land mattress. But I'm unsure. Uh, at least it's dead. He's probably going to try and bait it. Are you guys... Re oh, okay, there we go. I was about to say. I would have been fearful for my life. Because of that mine right there. Of course, the Panzerfaust did happen. He's trying to look for another Panzerfaust, but he has a damage engine. He needs to keep moving back. Create some space, which he does do. And they're going to retreat. And ooh! Ooh, that entire Obelisodot... Great. Great. Eat shit, buddy. Eat some shit. Of course, we do see a Cromwell over here. Not sure how good that's going to be. Maybe should have saved some fuel. Not a fan of the Cromwell. I mean, it's fast, and that's about it. Sort of like how uh, Matthias is in bed, but, you know. There's only so much we can do. Oh, rip. Oh, show the front armor. Show the front. No. Ah. Except to death. Sucks dick. So Betsy Kevin is trying to... Well, oh. I feel like the sounds are different here. I don't know why. Anyways, Betsy Kevin did call down some arty here. And Betsy Kevin again, clearing up the left. The one thing you did say about his ally, though, at least his allied held his, held his flank, which is pretty good. Uh, you can't ask more for an ally because usually allies are really retarded. So Shvia planted here, Shvia planted here. So pretty uh, passive placements for the Shvias. Then we do have the Sturm officer over here. Volka to cap up as well. Uh, Dushka and Penals coming up. Penals with now with their... Anti-tank rifles. Repairing up 76. Yeah, right now there needs to be a land mattress. Well, first there needs to be preservation of your units, but also the land mattress. In my opinion. Did that support gun really just hit the fucking tank? Oh. Yeah, if again's getting in a position. Nice rear shot. Or side shot-ish. Almost killed the MG, though. Yeah, just trying to back away as much as possible. Yeah, so at least you're safe. Nice stolen Viketon over here by Batsy Kevin. So Batsy Kevin can purchase a land mattress, and I think it would be a very wise decision to buy two, at least two, of the land mattress. Batsy Kevin again giving his enemy no breathing room and is going to cap up uh, their side of the river and, of course, push up over here to kill his... Uh, hopefully kill, no? No. Rip. Brah, get some land mattresses. You went in for a reason. You went up against OKW. Lol. Stuck. Ah, he's building a Katusha, which is nice. At least some kind of artifice is going to come down. I still think a land mattress would be great at this point. At least a land mattress here. I mean, you see the support cut? Oh my god, I'm, 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 I'm triggered. I'm officially triggered. I am so much triggered. This stupid fucking artillery gun. Ugh. I don't know why people buy this artillery gun. It's not that great. Like. So what? You can target the HQ. It doesn't matter. You want to kill units. Yes. You want to kill fucking units. And it fucking does that. Ugh. <laughs> what the fuck? Of course the Katusha comes off, causes that, and then the artillery round just happened to land there. Go fuck yourself. Fuck off. Fuck off, RNG. Fucking cunts. So much cringe. So much what the fuck. 
man. So, he is going to build up a Sherman Firefly. Is good. His ally did get a Katusha. Still would want to buy a Land Mantras, though, but, you know. He's expecting probably some kind of Panther or some kind of Double Panther 4, whatever, you know, gay shit that, uh, they will endure. Uh, ah, uh, yeah, he's getting the Yag Pensa. Kind of a good choice. Deal with, the uh, 76s a little bit if it's supported properly, which I think it is, because they, ah, uh, no, these are support guns, uh, He has no AT. Uh, except this one. That's it. So it can be okay. Stum Pioneer is going to their death. No? Stum Pioneer versus... Yeah, Stum Pioneer is going to lose. And Glory is running over. But uh, 76 is pretty much fucked now. Oh! Oh, 76 showing who's boss. Go, 76. Go. Go, go, go. Ah. Uh, well, he technically got it unmanned, so at least it's GG. I think it's GG. Bye bye. So yeah, Cromwell's gonna have to back off against the Yag Pants. I have to wait for the Sherman to come up. Sherman does have two lips and um Oh my god, he called off a land mantras. Praise you. Praise you, Bad C Kevin. Praise you. You know what? I'm gonna see something really quick. Uh I'm gonna do this. Uh whatever. Cause to me my sound is so loud for some reason and I feel like I'm like talking way too loud. I'm just a loud American. Yeah, at least Sherman Firefly is going to push him back just fine. Gonna position that land mattress. And we do see a M4C Sherman coming at you live from the power of the internet. Where did land mattress go? Oh, it's all the way over here. Why? Oh. Okay. Fire? Okay. Got some commanders over here from Batsy Kevin trying to cap up that up. Still waiting. Needs a good recon. Yeah, gonna pull back and try to cap that up. Yag Pants, I can't really do much. Sherman Firefly and Cromwell are waiting to pounce. I guess the Cromwell will be used to basically flank and or stop the vehicle from retreating by getting in its path. But at least the VP is taken and the fuel is taken as well, and he's microing literally all the way around so the support guns didn't target him. So there goes Land Mantras. Land Mantras completely targeting the artillery gun. Uh, it's pretty much gonna fucking miss a little bit. Yeah, it's protected by the force and the angle of which uh, Batsy Kevin kind of threw those at. You kind of hit this part and you kind of need it to be here to, to properly hit at least I think. Um, but he did injure it a little bit, but yeah, so 12 kills from that one fucking gay shit, but then as you can see, he just maneuvers his troops away and, and it's fine, like, it doesn't fucking matter. So for C. Sherman going balls deep, uh, it's actually okay. Oh, uh, the Egg Panzer's there, so that is a problem. But it, it was okay, though. The Viquette in there wasn't actually set up, so the M42 Sherman did make it out. Without too much damage, the Egg Panzer did come in over here. Very nice mine placement. I actually went double mine placement, I, I believe, because there's no way else they could get a damage engine. But that was some very nice mining, and then, of course, it just randomly happened to run over them. But uh, that Sherman would have been raped. I hate it when they do that. They go back and stuff. Unfortunately, though, I feel like they should have put a little bit more pressure and have actually taken that, but it's, man, it's whatever. Cromwell actually coming balls deep in here to get into that flank, and of course, them round bounced for the lulls. Uh, Sherman Firefly should be able to get off the round. There we go. So, yeah, very nice tulip. Get him while he was retreating and also in the side. Very nice indeed. Uh, who got the kill? Did Cromwell get the kill? Oh, the Cromwell got the kill. Top kick. So right now, though, I feel like um, 
X Metal here. So he has a quite a bit of infantry. X Metal does not. X Metal needs some fucking infantry. This is this is the problem that's happening here. He has two support guns, which is great. His artillery piece got twelve kills. Fuck off. But he needs some more Volk. He has no Volk to contest and push into this flank, grab that munitions port, or push into the middle. They're playing very defensively, which isn't bad. But his allies just kind of sitting here, circle jerking around, while you know he has two infantry and an MG. Whoop de fucking do. I don't know. It kind of frustrates me when that when that kind of shit happens. So we do have a demo charge here waiting. And I should text while I'm uh, trying to. Uh, I'm recording. Yeah. There we go. Totally win. Didn't miss any of the action. Still has a damaged engine, don't know why. Uh, he has a Sturm Pioneer that's doing absolutely nothing back at base that could be repairing his uh, tank. Uh, this is a bad spot for your... You're not going to be able to fire over that. Oh, uh, maybe. Ooh, okay, let's see. Yeah, ah, I told you. Eh, I was right. Yeah, I was right. GG, and he completely kind of, well, he lessened the health a little bit, but, you know, he could be fucking in the movies. Finally capping up that fuel up there on the left from the decap. Some guys coming down in the middle, I feel like this is a little bit of a waste here. Uh, hopefully someone goes there and gets killed. That'd be great. No, they're gonna retreat. I love how the assault artillery, well, I love how it just immediately landed on the demo charge. That's funny. The Russian guy's base has pretty much been bombed to shit. Needs to get, uh, doesn't really need to do anything, just needs to get some more infantry, I think. Some more penals. But we do see a glorious run through here of two M4C Shermans doing something, and I don't know what. But they should have definitely tried and killed the support guns. Oh, he's trying to go for epic flank maneuver. Ooh, that sucks. He's gonna go from here. Dude, oh, okay, there we go. Whew! M4C Sherman almost died. But everything's okay. Luckily, there was really no anti-tank here, except now. Which caught the full health Sherman in the rear, which is fine. Made it out, killed the tank. So now they pretty much have no tank at all. Um, we do have uh, Bionicle here, who pretty much has no fuel whatsoever. Um, just needs 100 more for that. X Metal is buying another Yag Pants, which kind of makes me want to kill myself. Can't believe he bought the stupid artillery gun. 20 kills, of course, but still in all, you, you, you get my gist. Like that, that manpower pool and no infantry. And no fighting, and just just stupid. HQ is under attack. Typical enemy trick, isn't it? Of course, doing that. Of course, another assault or zero zeroing artillery. Where? I laugh. It was here. Was it really there? That was the dumbest zeroing artillery ever. I hope some troops get killed for it. Eh, a little filled the two ship. A little bit too late. What is the Katusha? Oh no, it's his, it's his land mattress. What is the Katusha? Didn't he have one? I'm guessing it died then. Ooh. At least it is in safe hands. 
Where's another Yag Pensa? Not gonna learn. And of course, the Russian guy, again, almost no infantry to contest this. He has to pull infantry from the left flank all the way over to the right, and it's just a complete mess. Like, there is no point. Now they're gonna capture that fuel, they'll just come back and take this, and, you know, it's, it's pretty much nothing. Like, they're all just circle jerked here. As the problem with a lot of OKW players is that they kind of place their trucks down, they're like, this is where I am, and then they just forever stay there. I lol at this. Is he actually gonna decap? Aw, oh, you should have decapped. Another M4C that can be produced, should definitely produce one. Betsy Kevin still being pretty HQ is under attack. Um, cautious with all of his tanks, and, and rightfully so, because there's no need to go into, you know, two Volk and then a random Baketan or another Jagdpanza and get completely destroyed. Yeah, see, there's really nothing you can do. Pretty much almost died. Ah, uh, he's gonna die. Oh! No, he didn't. That Volk didn't launch its Panzer for Rip. Rip, you could see the Jagdpanzer along with the Vaketten, and it just fucked over the Sherman so good. Cromwell kind of being the, you know. Trying to be the good guy that he is, at least unless Batsy Kevin is totally always doing this. The vehicle crew repair, yeah, so he can't move. Trying to fix the damage engine. And he did anyways. Rip. Ripperoni. All trying to repair the tank, and they lol top kick the retreat. Random Viketan is random. M4C is coming over here on the right. Again, no one completely on the right, though they are decapping the left fuel. Betsy Kevin needs to get on top of that ASAP, but just needs to replenish his infantry. Do you have a new Katusha that got three kills? Didn't notice that. Yagpensa. Don't show your rear armor. I, okay, I guess it's gonna happen. Oh, it's dead. Uh, it's because the Sherman Firefly. Uh, he dead. Oh, the smoke, nice. Can you do it? No, you're gonna die. Yeah, just accept your fate. Let the Sherman Firefly win. I think the crime will stole the kill again. Well, that's what you get for stealing kills. That MG, though, and Penal's almost getting that Viketan, and again, being completely pushed back. Again, this is what happens, again, with X-Metal, with no infantry, he's building some Obus Adatsa now. Too much of a man pool, and, uh, yeah, just a uh, shameful display. Almost with that decap. Oh, just got the decap, GG. Ooh, nice. Yeah, destroying that cover too. No, a little bit. There we go. Lol, that's stealth. Again, two MGs just watching that flank, repairing their Shermans. Another Katusha. Hopefully the Katusha will, there we go, taking out that uh, artillery piece. He can reman it again, but at least the veterancy is gone. And all that glorious stuff. So it's pretty much, I think, a circle jerk here until probably someone does something, gets a Yag Tiger. Because uh, they pretty much wasted all their shit on... Um... Oh, he could get a Yag Tiger soon. Yeah. I uh, could technically get a Panther, but... Need something heavy, and I would say a King Tiger, but... He would have to build the medical thing. Killed the Shvia, which is good. Yeah, but even the allies, too, the Russian guy needs to get some more infantry. He has a lot of MGs. He needs, like, two more penals or three or something like that for, uh... 
to really combat the Vikettons now because of their use of armor. Another Cromwell being built, kind of cringe, but it's probably the go-to with the Sherman for that speed to get in the flank or something, or to be the damage soak. But yeah. I don't know what they're going to do here. You know you already capped it, right? You know? McGann's moving to stealth. Not stealth. Oh, he remanned it. Yeah, man. We metal the fucking artillery piece. We're going to show these MG positions. What's up, yo? Uh, just some cringe. Well, is Batsy Kevin really going to repair his stuff? So much slow. Oh, man. I'd laugh if it killed all of his engineers. I have to watch this now. I think it's done now, though. Yeah, that would have been funny as fuck if it killed all of his engineers. Oh, it's the dots in the middle of nowhere. Always cringe. Land matchers pretty um, exposed. But is about to kill the... Yeah, did kill the artillery piece again. Well, the crew. Hopefully the land matchers will be able to get away. No, it will not. Did I get a man with one guy? No, I didn't. That sucked. Oh, well. Chain full bay. Shimmer Fireflies doing some poking with against the Shroom Pioneers. And I think this match is pretty much done with. Like I said, they need a a tank. Oh, man, all that manpower and stuff. Just, just why? Well, he has some infantry and replenish and stuff. They just need fuel. I know he's waiting for the Yag Tiger. That's probably what he's waiting for, is to get the Yag Tiger, and it's not going to do much for him, probably. Lul. Get wrecked. Random Vikettons, random. Can you see that in the fog for? Oh, wrong fucking sight. No, you can't. Okay. I don't know why I thought you could. And who lives in a pineapple under the sea? The Yag Tiger does. Of course he gets the Yag Tiger. The last bastion of hope is the Yag Tiger. So we'll see if it does any good. Uh, not sure I really like this Negro skin. It just kind of looks really shitty. With the red dots, it looks like he has uh, uh, the chicken pox or something like that. So maybe the Yag Tiger's sick. I know the oh the person who bought it is sick in the head because they bought it, but you know, all that gloriousness. Infantry section trying to cap that up. Promo in some support, but not gonna be much because glorious Yag Tigers here. And you just got fuck, yo. Rip. So yeah, we'll see how this guy wants to micro his three little units together. We'll see. Though the three Shermans are over here, one glorious flank maneuver with an infantry support should be able to kill the Yag Tiger, but yeah. Forced to retreat. Of course, the land mattress got uh, disabled here. But at least it's at least uh, safe. And all that crap. So yeah, not much as to this. Uh, this MG got killed somehow. I don't know why or how. Looked like from a support gun. So this is pretty dumb. You dead. Ta-da! Yeah, you knew that, well, I maybe wasn't paying attention. I don't think anything was happening over here, but uh, if you would have seen it, or at least seen it on the mini-map, the Yag Tigers, it's still fucking there. Coming from this angle just across the river would have been dope, but... Yeah, Betsy Kevin here. Definitely decapping the VP and all of that. So now his Shermans are going to go around... Not going to achieve anything, probably just to get some kills. Do have some Shreks there. New Sherman Firefly did being built, yo. 
That's pretty much it. The Yagter can't easily respond to this because it needs to uh, maneuver super slow and everything else like that. So, but, um, his ally could just sit here and kill some infantry. Do the Viquette in there and we'll have to back away. But it's all good. Yeah, it's good retreat. Could actually die here if his uh, troops were accurate. Yeah, he did. Rip, rip Vet 3. Again, there's not much the M4C Shermans can do. Definitely going to need the support. Katusha in a very nice spot. Only because it forced him to go this way. Yeah. They're definitely going to need to combine their efforts and go from a flanking maneuver to get this faggot. Oh. Mm, didn't fucking hit. Somehow it didn't hit. But he is going to back away because of the two Sherman Fireflies. Which is going to be good enough, I think. Yeah. Too bad that was a wasted uh, Tulip Rocket. Shit sucks, Dick. Oh, man. He's going to build a Pack 43. Holy shit. Oh, God. I would never want an ally like this. Completely fucking incompetent and useless. I mean, the only good thing are his support guns. That's it. And the random shit he would randomly capture at random times. And lull that demo charge right there. Get wrecked. Ripperoni. Turn the Firefly. Poke it away at Obus of Dots. An infantry section gonna come in and stop the cap above this munition point. Along with some infiltration commandos. And uh, we got some actual arty coming down here. Though completely kind of missing. Completely kind of missing. That that... That sense totally makes sense. Holy shit, a rear shot. Holy shit, Deborah, look at that. Get fucking demolished. Three of the kittens. All vet two with that fast reload and that opening shot from stealth. Gonna do all that extra damage. Poorly wiped out Batsy Kevin's stuff. So it's kind of sucks because. I mean, what would I do if I was Batsy Kevin? The only thing I could think of is keep the tanks that I do have. Get another land mattress or whatever. He's got two now. Get a little bit more infantry or something of that sort. Get another infantry section, equip them better, and kind of combine my infantry. Uh, but I'd get AT guns. AT guns is your best bet against the Yag Tiger if you can't really outflank it because the Yag Tiger can't do shit. So you have the infantry to protect and then the tank to capitalize or anything else like that. Uh, but yeah, th his, his shit's dead now. It's the only way you're going to counter the double Viketten together that are mag that are vet that can reload super fast and get that uh, burst damage off and other stuff like that. But also especially in VP because, oh my god, get infantry. You, you contest infantry with that shit. And of course the artillery for counter artillery battery or anti-blob kind of mojo shtick. So that's kind of what needs to happen. At least in my opinion for Batsy Kevin. The Batsy Kevin's still doing, I think, good. His ally is still holding his own as well, though. They kind of need to learn and make adjustments around the fact that the Yag Tiger's there. And that you either don't have the adequate blah, 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 blah to kill it. Or flanking maneuvers since it is kind of a short map-ish, you know. But they did manage to dismantle again the, the artillery weapon. Artillery piece. All that gay shit. Praise the land mantras. Sherman Firefly. Could be fought. Not Sherman. Ugh. MV, M4C Sherman. Yeah, it's gonna retreat. Be fine. Not sure where the Yag Tiger... Yeah, the Yag Tiger's... This guy's trying to maneuver the fucking Yag Tiger halfway across the fucking map. I feel like... To be like, oh, there's a tank there, and then by the time it's there, like, nothing happens. Yeah, Land Mattress is not really doing much with this. A little bit inaccurate. Katusha, I feel like, is more accurate. But this this right here is what is the problem. So we do have Big Papa Pump on the field from X Retard. And look at all of that manpower he still has. But yet, he doesn't have any kind of adequate infantry. So the Yag and the King are on the field. And this spells a little bit more disaster for the Allies. Because of... I don't know how you're going to kill both of them without any kind of AT or, you know, uh, T 
tank spam or anything else like that. Also, King Tiger's pretty bullshit at killing infantry. So. We got that going on. So, Stone Vaketan hopefully retreats and is able to replenish it. Gonna need that AT. Uh, Sherman Firefly, kind of, not Sherman Firefly, M4C Sherman, kind of where it need, doesn't need, isn't needed, needs to be here. Uh, but he does have an M4C here and uh, Sherman Firefly from Batsy Kevin. Batsy Kevin getting a number, Sherman Firefly. Again, Batsy Kevin has good infantry. I would still get one more infantry section and then upgrade them with Piots or more anti-infantry. But, but it just shows one thing, though, that Batsy Kevin kept his Vet 3 infantry alive. Unit preservation. This, this goes a long way to, against someone who doesn't do unit preservation and or doesn't buy infantry fucking at all. Praise Batsy Kevin. But Ice Kachisha finally man one of the support guns, but the King Tiger kind of overextended. Uh, the Tulip Rocket, if you did see, did come out and did that little bit of damage. But there's nothing these tanks are going to do against the King Tiger and the Yag Tiger at point blank. Uh, this is spells for disaster right here because they're kind of clumped up. Yeah, I bet see Kevin's going to spread them out a little bit. Again, there's nothing they can really do as long as you spread out and kind of take territory. It'd be good. And have some kind of AT to continuously push them back. Uh, Sherman Firefly kind of works too, but the Yag Tiger, of course, uh, that's actually a nice bullet. Uh, round ugh, in mid range, but the Ag Tiger doesn't do that. But the King Tiger, you can do something of the sort like that. Sherman coming in here, going to wipe out the rest of the OKW, and this guy got demolished by I think Yag Tiger. That's about it. Otherwise, there's nothing else they could have killed. But they did kill the Obusadatan, and Land Mantra just continuously pounding. Did eliminate the Pack 40. Maybe Pack 40 could have killed it. I don't know. Uh, trying to eliminate that artillery piece that is still pretty useless. And of course they did cap up the mid and the right. Now they're going to try and cap up the left with that Maketan. So overall, they are trying to make a push. What is this? This is Oh, he's finally getting an SU. Eh, SU against uh, King Tiger. Okay, maybe. But I'd still rather go with AT and infantry. And mines and other stuff like that, especially against uh, this kind of OKW when you've noticed that they don't have many uh, homosexuality. Uh, I hate crossing in the woods. But some very nice cover here from the dead. Uh, I think he got raped by all three Vikans over here on the side. Very nice cover that he's going to get. And of course, holding that middle and capping up the left. So we, they do have a triple cap now. And again, this is the infantry. See, even though as much as some people like tanks or some people like this, you always need a balanced army. And if and if you're sort of going balls deep in tank, you really do need infantry. And you need infantry preservation too. So M4C Sherman's gonna walk into a bar. Top kick from that joke. But yeah, at least uh, Yag Tiger wasn't able to shoot off a round. Ooh, almost dead. Almost dead there. Very low on HP. Yeah, but didn't have the tulips and too much uh, ammo. Doesn't have enough. We do see uh, this guy moving up his discus over here on the flank to get rid of that support gun. Playing nice hide and go seek through there. Got a nice penetrating shot. Uh, I think they should converge on him now. I, I would commit to the. Oh, yeah, the Yag Tiger's there. Mm, I don't know. I don't know how much I'd commit to it. Yeah. Maybe they could have, but then I feel like the rounds would have just bounced and it would have been a complete shit show. But yeah, the, the pure capping power of the allies along, again, with infantry and other stuff like that is just going to be too good for the Axis. Now, what, now X-Metal here should have gotten more infantry, but he's retarded, and then unit preservation with that infantry as well. Also, not wasting money on more Yag Pants. I can understand if he wants to go that way, but he had no infantry or AT guns to really support them. He kind of overextended them as well, I think, I think a little bit. But also, once you go up against German Fireflies and stuff, you really do need support. All that other kind of crap. Now, his ally, on the other hand, while I feel is a little bit more intelligent with the infantry, the Ag Tiger, to me, is still uh, useless in a lot of aspects. Uh, Should have gone King Tiger or multiple Panthers. He did have adequate infantry, 
Um, but I feel like him trying to man this too is kind of a waste as well. Um, uh, the only thing I can think of for him right now is unit preservation. And maybe uh, getting better tanks. And not just getting the same thing and then hoping for the Yag Tiger or whatever. It's just kind of cringe a little bit to me. Also, wasting his munitions on assault activity is also kind of cringe. Because it hasn't really done anything for him. Especially something on this map, too. Nice Katusha here. Again, Katusha at the perfect angle. Wiping out the pack. Wiping out this. This right here is just a manpower waster at this point. Trying to reman it and everything else. It is just wasting his manpower. But even though X-Metal has a shit ton of fucking manpower. So it, it, I guess it doesn't matter. But if you were intelligent enough, you would know that it's, it's fucking wasting manpower. So again, the triple cap. Uh, there's really not much to it yet. Again, don't know where to put their infantry at. They're just kind of... I guess they accept the death. That fucking King Tiger shot uh, wiped out pretty much almost that entire fucking shit. Oh, the rape of the Yag Tiger. Oh, we have to slow-mo for this. See, it's out of position. You come across on the flank. It can't do shit. And a nice SU on the other side. Rip. No. No, the Yag Tiger must die. So much fucking fail. Go, no, SU, trade. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, Yag Tiger. It even wiped out from that range. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. But yeah, it's pretty much over because of EPs. There we go. Now you're dead. Bad C Kevin coming in here, wiping out that Yag Tiger. Uh, his tank, sh no, his tank's not gonna live. Nice Katusha coming down here when he knows they're all clumped up. Played ring around the Rosie against the against the King Tiger. But there's one thing with the King Tiger is that he kept backing up, and then the Sherman Firefly was going this way. He backed up this way to get his gun around instead of waiting for the turret. But yeah, that uh, the triple cap is pretty much real, unless I really doubt Batsy Kevin and the other guy would. Um, yeah, he has this. He has all of his forces over here. Goal, total miss. Top kick, that fucking miss. And MG and stuff, they're gonna sit in the cap. Try and go for the cap. GG, X-Men of course. Leaves and that's the end of the game. Lol, that noise. But yeah, X-Men is pretty retarded. You should think about not playing the game ever again. And all that other glorious stuff. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. And I hope you enjoyed.